Good morning, YouTube. It is October 16th. It is Monday. Um, so, the start of a new work week. Yay. Uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. My weekend was nice. Opera on Saturday, which was fabulous. And then yesterday, just chilling out and starting the baking season. I made myself some, uh, well, I made everyone some blueberry muffins, which didn't come out half bad. Um, the husband devoured them. The son was like, mm, good. <laughs> when he had a piece so and, um, I brought some for work this morning with some coffee very good anywho um that is about yeah that wraps up the weekend um so let's get in to the outfit today and then I have a couple of things to show you guys of course so today I am wearing this uh oh my target my Victoria Beckham for Target B shirt this actually might do be a redo of an outfit I did a couple of weeks ago but whatever my olive pants from J Crew and my olive shoes from shoes from Steve Madden and today it's a little chilly so I just threw on this thin leather jacket from Arden B I have my Zara uh, handy tote bag. I told you guys about my Zara belt debacle. And so I returned that and I ended up getting um, the real leather version, which is by Below the Belt. Um, that's the, I don't know if it'll show, Below the Belt. Anyway, it's B slash low, L-O-W, the belt. Um, I actually got this on Revolve.com, Revolve Clothing, and it's real leather. The studs go all the way through the back, so they're not going to pop out, and the leather is really nice and soft, and you can see how supple it is. However, I got the small, and the small is too small, so I am exchanging this for the medium, and I hope this will be it, and I will have my belt finally. I did end up getting, also ordering the plain one. I'm not going to take it out of its packaging because I, I like the studded one. I'm going to keep the studded one. But I did order the plain as well, but um, the stud one is just is just perfect for me. So yay. That is the belt saga. I hope the medium fits fine. It should. And then I'll be done. Um, and I have another package. I was just browsing on Instagram one lonely night. <laughs> ah, it's open. And I've been looking for a lip necklace. I have a thing for lips. And on Instagram, this is a huge box for a little necklace, I found this, um, I was looking at piercing uh, photos um, and someone on their Instagram photo was wearing this necklace. It is from Astley Clark. Okay. Um, and this particular necklace is done by a model. She models, I mean, she's a huge model. She does, um, I have late, lately seen her in, what do you call it, H&M ads. She's like this light skin model, uh, black model, abs, uh, light skin with freckles all over her face. Anyway, she has, I wish they had like a, something that showed... I'll put it down below, but she has like a foundation, um, and this necklace, how pretty is that? Um, the proceeds of this necklace goes to that foundation, and the side says, what does it say? I knew what it says when I bought it. Oh yeah, um, the foundation is called Girls Talk. So that's what that says there, it says Girls Talk, and then the lip, and in the lip, is like a sapphire, a white sapphire. You, know, you probably can't see it, but um, I thought it was so pretty, but I'll put the link um, of the necklace below and the website so you guys can check it out yourself, but I love it. So it's gold plated with the red enamel lip and the sapphire um, diamond in the tooth. And it comes with this pouch that you can put your necklace in. And it, it comes from England or London but it was like two day shipping it was very fast so let's see very pretty and it has like a little star class with a little probably a little sapphire in there as well i love things like this 
So let's see. So you can either wear it as a choker. Let's see if I wear it as a choker. I don't really like chokers, but every time you swallow, you feel it. But since I'm wearing this sweatshirt, yeah, it's so pretty. <laughs> and yeah, girls talk. G-U-R-L-S -G talk, girls talk. We do talk and we have a voice. Okay. Anyway, so I thought that was very pretty. I think it's like $75. So, and I had like a 10% off coupon. So anyway, that's my new addition. Very cute. I love it. I love things like this. This is my kind of jewelry. Jewelry from, uh, necklace from L&M. My Dior earrings. Um, just a little tiny stud in here. And uh, just a bunch of um, stacking rings today. Let's see, I have a happy face here, my lip stud, and just the same stack I've been wearing, and no, no cuffs, I mean, no jewelry or anything, because I'm wearing long cuffs. Um, so yeah, that is my new purchase. Very cute, I like it. It's different. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll leave the information to this below if you guys want to check it out, and it does go to a good cause, so yay. So yeah, that is about it for today. Um, gotta go to Zara, pick up some stuff I bought for my daughter, and then return something. I return those, uh, boots. Um, and hopefully run to Saks, too, because I gotta return the coat that I bought my little one, too. So, yeah, that's my day today. It's chilly out, boo, but it's supposed to get back up into the 70s, mid-70s for the rest of the week, so yay. <laughs> Global warming. It's horrible, but we seem to be benefiting from it in the Northeast here. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is Tuesday, October the 17th. We are chugging along. And as you can see, I have broken out a hefty sweater because it was 43 degrees out there this morning. Burr. Okay? It apparently hasn't been this cold since like April 8th or something. It's supposed to go up to 60. Uh, degrees this afternoon um, but whew, and then the rest of the week is supposed to be in the mid 70s um, so yeah let's get to the outfit I'm wearing this sweater um, by H&M with my and this dress from needsupply.com I believe uh, the the brand is uh, Faro got it for 19 bucks um, and I just of course have layered it um, with this sweater because darn it it's still fall and I'm gonna get my use of my summer dresses in with sweaters <laughs> and I'm wearing my Aldo um, mules along with my Mancia Gavrielle bag uh, Dior sunglasses Dior earrings um, and this one was, is with the, uh, the B. Yeah. So, I'm loving these earrings. I love it. And, yeah, so, let's see. Any, nothing, it's the same, um, stacking jewelry I've had and my Hermes cuff, which you can't really see now because I have the thumb holes in because it's freezing in the office. Um, I did a makeup look, uh, makeup tutorial with this that I'll put in after this. I love this Naked Heat palette. The best palette, hands down, for me, from Urban Decay. Because if truth be told, I'm not really a fan of the first Naked Heat. I have that one, and I have the third one, the rose. It's pretty, but eh, it's not, not, a little, not really a fan of that either, because it can come out a little ashy on my skin, so I have to use other um, eyeshadows and other palettes to kind of warm it up before I use it. But this palette, yes. So glad I bought it. I'm gonna be using it for a while. I love it. So I will put up my little makeup um, tutorial at the end of this. And yeah, that is about it for today. I am staying my button doors because it's cold out, which I love the winter for that because I don't venture off and buy stuff. And that'll be it for me today, guys. So I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, wanted to share with you a makeup look um, that I've been doing uh, for the past day or two. I'm using my Naked Heat palette. I love this palette. It is the best one so far to me um, in this series. So I am taking He Devil with a Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to take that all over the crease into the upper crease 
and underneath the eye as well because I do my under eye as at the same time because I don't have time to be going back and forth in the morning. <laughs> so just taking a little more blend, uh, building up the color because um, this is pretty much a transitional color but um, I love to see it peek out because I have hooded eyes so um, the more the merrier <laughs> when it comes to upper crease colors to me. Then we are going to go in with a smaller tapered blending brush also from Sigma and we are going to take taking in fuego into the crease um, and just kind of just keeping that color to define uh, my crease. Um, I just like to do this step sometimes because it just defines it much more. Taking MAC Constructivist paint pot and I'm just going to take that on a stiff uh, brush and just put that on the mobile lid. Um, I'm just using this as a base uh, so that the um, eyeshadow that I do use will stick to it better and then on a flat shader brush I am using Ashes. Beautiful dark brown purpley color um, and I'm just gonna pack that on. I did a couple of layers of this on each eye just to really um, get it on there and just to pack the color so that it could stay there through um, the day. And I just love how this color looks on the lid, the whole lid. Uh, taking my uh, tapered blending brush again into Enfuego and just getting back into the crease to uh, blend out any lines. And then I'm taking my uh, fluffier brush going back into He Devil and just cleaning up um, and just making the color, I want that color to stand out and of course going underneath the eye as well. My two uh, mascaras that I layer are the Better Than Sex, um, yeah, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and the Dior um, Pump and Volume. I love layering these two together. Uh, the Too Faced gives volume and the Dior lengthens. So with my non eyelashes, this works great because I don't really like um, fake lashes. I just not every day I can't I don't have the time to put them on anyway so these two really give me the volume and length then into my elf um, pal uh, my elf eyebrow kit I'm going to do my eyebrows I don't know what elf has done I don't know if I got a bad batch but I've used this kit for years and this batch sucks so I'm going to be looking if I'm gonna try another batch and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to look into another eyebrow product, which sucks because I really like this one and it was $3. It's like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's just very, the formula used to be nice and stiff and it was easy to work with. This, I have to keep going in and it's just not as dark anymore and just not as wax as stiff. This is just, I can't even describe the consistency of this. It's just not good. So I finished it off camera um, and then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I believe I'm in the color Cafe. Love this concealer and pretty much I've just been using concealer. Um, no foundation lately. Um, and then another Maybelline. This is in the brightening shade. And yes, yeah, so I have just not, I haven't used uh, foundation since I would say June, May or June, which kind of sucks because I like, I like applying it and I like the foundations that I have but I don't need it right now so I guess maybe I still am a little tan from the summer so I will just keep using concealer under the eyes and bringing it down just a little bit um, up the bridge of the nose and then the dab on the forehead to brighten until I need to use foundation again um, hey if it's not broke once again <laughs> don't fix it so yeah, that's the, uh, the areas that I use the concealer, right around the nose area too, just to get away some of the redness and um, just to brighten under the eyes to take away uh, the tiredness. Um, yeah, and then I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent, Mercier, <laughs> translucent powder in the darkest shade that they came out with and I'm just going to set that concealer uh, under the eyes wherever I put it and then I'm also going to dust it all over my face and this pretty much keeps me matte throughout the day which is what I love because sometimes I can get a little oily. Going back with my fluffier blending brush and I'm using chaser to um, I put concealer I cleaned up my eyebrows with some concealer so I'm using the uh, color chaser to uh, just get that more streamlined so you don't see the lines from the concealer. And then using, uh, let's see, I believe I am using ounce and sauce to blend, um, uh, blend out the 
eyeshadow to just to make it a little more you know cohesive um, make sure there are no harsh harsh lines and let it just blend into the skin um, and that's pretty much the last step I do for my eyes I have no eyelashes on the bottom of my eyes so I rarely use mascara it just ends up messing up my eyebrows uh, my eyelashes under there so there is the look almost done. I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Powder in the darkest one that they have, and I'm just uh, bringing some warmth to the face, kind of a little bit of contour. I love this powder. Um, I used to use the Too Faced um, Chocolate Bronzer, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fooling myself. I just like the color. I mean, I like the smell. The color does nothing for my skin because it's not dark enough. I'm talking about this dark chocolate. No, it's not. Anyway. Uh, one of my favorite blushes uh, is by Clinique. It's the Cheek Pop in Cola. Very pretty um, brownie reddish, reddish color. And then I'm just blending that all in. And that is pretty much the makeup look. Love this heat palette. If you guys have not tried it out, I highly recommend it. And of course, just ending with my e.l.f. Mist and Set. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hey YouTube, it is Thursday, October 19th. I did what I did again last week. Walked out of here yesterday and didn't film. So, it is 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm doing it now before I get too busy and I forget and don't film what I'm wearing. Anyway, so we'll get into what I was wearing yesterday. Yesterday, um, I was wearing um, white uh, blouse from H&M. And can I just say, I cannot stand white. I love crisp white blouses when they're first bought, but when you wash them, you can never get them crisp again. Very annoying. Um, on top of that is a navy blue sweater from J. Crew, and this uh, navy lace skirt from Zara, which still should be available. And then um, my shoes are from J. Crew. So, and I was wearing my J. Crew bag with my new strap. Liking my, and I'm loving the combo. <sighs> so that was yesterday. Today, <laughs> um, uh, I'm wearing my bag again. I really like it with this, with the, uh, the strap. I don't know why it didn't come with this strap. Anyway, the, the bag it came, the strap it came with was some little measly strap I had to cut off. But this strap goes really well with it. So today I am wearing um, J. Crew uh, cashmere sweater with an ASOS skirt that I got a while ago, so I'm all blue, <laughs> with my Zara blue mules. And uh, since it's now getting chilly, uh, I have to come in here with leather jackets. Boo-hoo. <laughs> this one is from Arden B. I've got my Chloe navy blue sunglasses, my um, Dior earrings, this the necklace I just told you guys about that I got this week from Girls Talk, the lip my double name necklace from Etsy and um my regular bracelet stack yeah so yeah that is about it for me today um and take these off and the week I'm still wearing my um naked heat palette on the eyes love it um I think I'll wear it again next week too and then start putting it back in rotation with everything else um, yeah, so that is about it. I'm about to run and get some breakfast. I think I'm gonna have myself a nice giant Belgian waffle <laughs> with some nuts and um, strawberries for breakfast because I am so bored of everything else. Um, so I think we're gonna do that for breakfast. I will be talking to you next week. Hope everyone is well. I think I'm gonna do a coat collection video. I have a couple of coats and plus this will let me know what I need to donate if they're too small because some of these coats I've had for years they're still good but if they don't fit I'll either uh, I'll have to donate them so I can make room in my coat closet and I made a very 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 naughty purchase but I found the Chanel earrings that I wanted I'm pretty sure I will love them they are the Chanel earrings that match the two necklaces I have and my brooch I just for some reason I just love that combination Every time I go to Chanel, there is like dribblings left. There's nothing there. And I'm sick of it. It's like, stock your stuff, Chanel, okay? Anybody got time to be going to different stores and looking and you don't have anything online? It's annoying. So, 
I found it at a perfect price. The person, the seller said she only wore them once. It comes with all the accoutrements. And so, yay. We'll see that next week. I um, also ordered some boots from some thigh high boots they were navy blue from um and they're like the sock material from no they're not a sock they're nylon zara but we'll see if i like them because i have weirdly shaped legs and it, it, it may go back but they may go back so we'll see but i feel navy blue boots will go fabulously with certain things in my wardrobe so those are my purchases that are coming that i will show you next week still waiting for my belt exchange to happen um, and yeah, I think that's everything that's coming down the pike. Yeah, yeah, nothing else. Okay, all right, so you guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you later. Take care.